Hey guys, tonight I'm out at Cold Bay Harbor. Um, last night was a good night, unfortunately I didn't do any recordings. Um, tonight, there's nobody here. <laughs> I'm pretty much on my own on the wall. Um, but I've already caught one little chucker, a uh, tiny little guy. And um, oh, there we go, if you can, I don't know if you can see that. There we go, tiny, tiny, tiny little guy. Um, yeah, and there's potentially some more in the water, so when I get one, I'll update in a minute. So let's just give you guys a quick rundown. Using a six foot rod, seven foot, six foot bass rod, you get specialized chocker rods, tiny, little um what is this akuma revenger pro don't need much 30. so it's a 300 or 3000 class reel very small and um, when it comes to the jigs using a double jig setup at the moment and um, that you need to just experiment with to get the right combination with and the same combination that works now one was probably not work in 10 minutes time so we just cast those in and while those are busy sinking to the bottom because you can either bring it along the top you can let it sink down to the bottom depending on where the chocker is feeding and um, yeah that's where you need to target them so this one i'm letting it sink down i'm going to rig my other rod up now i'll show you in a minute with a float and um, I'll put the float out there jig drop about say four foot below the the, the, the float and see if we're lucky right we're going to be using this little float as you can see it's a little glow-in-the-dark floaty and um, we're going to attach bobber stopper on Okay, that helps a lot when the UV lights it up. Okay, so now we've got the float and we've got the the bobber stopper. So the float will stop against the bobber stopper like that. Sorry, my hand's in the way. And it can move up and down. Now we'll try tie our trace. To the bottom of this with a just the standard uni so four wet the knot pull the knot tight cut the tag So there we've got our bobber, bobber stopper, and then the trace, I'm putting a double trace out there on this one, and there's the, the bottom one. Well guys, as you can see, there's our little floaty with the two jigs on, floating, not very successful this evening. Other rod is cast out. I'm waiting for it to sink down. And if I look down the wall here, yeah, I'm the only person standing here. So clearly, it's not it's not the best conditions uh, for chocker fishing. But but we have two in the bag. Two tiny little guys. There they are at the bottom. There you can see them. In the back, so yeah, um, for now, nothing much. This is what it looks like. The prettiness of a very beautiful Cold Bay Harbor. And peace and quiet in the tranquility. <laughs> Not that chokka fishing is a noisy business. <laughs> 
<laughs> but yeah, it is what it is. Well guys, let me give you a quick rundown on the setup. Um, here's my H frame that I bought, my tackle box on, UV lights, got a, um, show you now with the light on, there's our USB port switch and uh, light setup plugged in there, and our cell phone bracket. <laughs> I see there we can see the light pole and there's the spotlights shining into the ocean over there. guys this party is over i think it's time we're gonna call it quits for the day we've got enough chocolate in the box we'll be back tomorrow chat later hey guys we're just gonna package these quickly then we don't have to do this at home so for bait purposes this is a a pretty decent chucky. This one, put it in the baggie. Okay. So, when it comes to chucky, your daily bag limit is 20, and there's no size restriction. So I'm not going to eat these, they will be used for bait. So there we go, the yield for the evening. Not as good as I would have hoped, but it's better than nothing. Well guys, showed you what we do with the chocker fishing, how we package them, how we get everything good. Now it's time for me to go sleep. Good night.